Channel 93.3, I'm Smitty. So glad to be here at Kegs at Night. You guys haven't been at Kegs before, but this no. is unusual to be here at night. We are here. It's dark outside. I'm here with Mr. Wives, you guys. Hello, thank you for Hello. having us. Thank you Thanks so for having much us. for being here. Thanks for having us. So we had a whole flight situation with the weather and stuff yesterday. Did you check your flights? Would you have made it in yesterday? We probably would have made it in yesterday, but we would not have been able to get from the airport to the venue. Yeah. I think that I would have mean, been the bigger thing. Because apparently Denver's airport can handle all weather. That's oh. what they're known for, which yeah. I found out yesterday. <laughs> but you didn't have to find out the hard way. Thankfully. No, we did not have to find out the hard way. Thankfully. Yeah. Um, yes. No, and we appreciate you guys accommodating the change in schedule. And obviously, it has not deterred anyone from enjoying the, uh, the kegs and eggs celebration. No, I mean, they're all here for you and they are packed in out there. You can't really see it on these screens, but no. everybody, nobody is moving. They are ready to be at the front for your performance. So very stoked awesome. to see all that. But we just came back from, well, not just came back. You were out on tour touring the new album last year. Yeah. Yeah, we did that uh, towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. So that came out. That was a wildly fun tour. It was a co-headliner with uh, with Bishop Briggs. Uh, could not have been more fun. Very sad that it was over. Yeah, it was an amazing tour. Uh, great turnouts. Um, couldn't have asked for more. Like the new record was perceived really well, and yeah, we're super happy. Speaking of the new record, yeah, I heard you're working on a thing. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, we can't talk about it? No, we can talk about oh, it, but I, I like, like to be coy. Secret. Cut it. Cut that part. Yeah. Uh, so you're working on a deluxe edition of Nosebleeds. Yes. How does, how does a deluxe edition happen? Are you like, we need more, or we did this, but we want to re yeah. remix it, or how? Well, there's, there's no rules, I think, to a, a deluxe record or luxury album, as my mom calls it. <laughs> um, but we decided to... Go, kind of go big with it and we're essentially re-releasing the record with two new songs and we have a feature a female artist featured on almost every song almost oh, every song what? so yeah it it started small and then just became this like really big project i don't even know if i'm allowed to say all of that <laughs> but well that's a great spoiler i don't know i'm not gonna stop you yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna stop yeah. you I don't know. The tea. What is the president of yeah. music going <laughs> to shut us down? I don't think so. Don't buddy. Think That's so. just what big but music wants you to think. Yeah, of. we're so excited because we've never actually released a Mr. Wives song, any song with a feature, and now we're doing a whole record. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. That's insane. Yeah. Did you say it was a female feature? Yes. I, I'm female. obsessed with that. I know, which has been tough to to narrow it down because there's a lot of great bands we we love and have uh, connected with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Mandy um, has a really good vision for the whole thing and, and wants to do women in music, obviously. I am stoked yeah. for this to happen. Yeah. So did these, did artists reach out to you when they heard about it or were you just like, we love these people, we wanna work with them, we've talked about collaboration before or how did, how did you come up with that whole list? Um, well, it was, it was a long list and a lot of the things were out, way out of reach, but uh, we did get some awesome big reach artists to some of our, fa our favorites to I won't I can't tell you who but, <laughs> that's okay we can keep but, some secrets because yeah. um, we may be told we maybe said more than we yeah. were supposed to yeah. I probably about. said way more I should probably not do interviews <laughs> <This is great. laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to say <laughs> um, but uh, yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good but the, uh, so, so yeah we reach out to the artists and some say no and some say yes and we like the ones that say yes Okay, so I'm going to ask. I don't know if you can tell me. Yeah. Do you have a like time frame that we should be looking out for this? 2024. <laughs> It'll definitely yes, be in the it. future. <laughs> that's All right. this year. This yeah. year. Um, <laughs> you no, heard I, it here first, yeah. folks. Yeah. I'm really excited. I didn't even know all... It's fresh information for me, yeah. and I'm really Wait until she finds out that Beyonce is on it. <laughs> <laughs> Skirt! <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to completely switch track because I could just, my brain is just going down that rabbit hole of all the collaborations that I can now yeah. wait to hear about. 
but I'm going to ask a completely different question. Go for it. Like on streaming platforms and things, you can see when somebody adds your song to their play. Like you can see the playlist, right? Correct. I want to ask, can you see when there's like a really popular song in a place? Like, are you, did you come to Denver because, and plan your playlist around like, hey, they're really playing a lot of this jam or a lot of this jam. Can you drill down like that? That's a really good idea. Um, that is a really good strategy. <laughs> I don't know. I well, have, I'm specifically I, asking because there is a song of yours that I have had on repeat since it dropped. Yeah. And I just want to know that you have no idea that it's me. That's the mega fan. It could just no. be you. Yeah, it's you're, just me. you're skewing all of just the statistics. Just there's one. Yeah. But like, can you can you see that and tailor I, your? You're asking the wrong people. We oh. have we have no idea. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think in terms of like the <laughs> metrics, it's a very like overall general breakdown. I mean, I think it's fairly comprehensive in terms of like what cities are playing certain things and like then age and demographics and stuff like that. But I don't. I don't actually know how granular it gets. For instance, I don't know that you are, in fact, playing this song hundreds of times. <laughs> okay. Although we greatly yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> well, I mean, thank you guys. Yeah. This no is problem. great stuff. What song is that? Sideways. Okay. Oh. Well, it may be on the list this evening yeah. because of the, the, the research that we did <laughs> yeah. in great. advance well. of this. <laughs> I'm just a really big fan, okay? Fair enough, okay. I'm really excited to see your set. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys, so. But very Well, we've been in Denver. Where have you been? I know. Well, I missed your October 1st show. Where were you doing? Your Nosebleeds performance with um, Bishop Briggs, <laughs> which I was, did, wait, I got to ask you, sidetrack now. Yes. Did you watch The Masked Singer? No. I don't watch TV, really. I don't we really know clips of it. On. We saw yeah. a lot of clips of, of her crushing, yeah. but I didn't watch the, the, the season. Yeah. Did you notice if that made an impact on your audience? Like, could you tell? I don't know if you necessarily could. I mean, I think, like, Bishop just brings, uh, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily from the mass Singer. Like, she's just a... Wow. Yeah. I'm really glad I didn't say that word. She's a powerhouse. I was going to drop the F-bomb, but well, I didn't. I mean, so was Mandy. Like, you guys are <laughs> yeah. great. There's so not, it was... You would have sold that out even if she wasn't on Masked Singer. I was just yeah. wondering if people, yeah. like... I don't I don't think any... No one showed up with signs saying, hey, I saw you on the Masked Singer. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know, I think all of those things... That's what's interesting about this industry is, like, all of those things are kind of cumulative. So it's like someone may know her from the Masked Singer, and then, you know, they come to the show, and then they like what they see and so i think it is so interesting how many avenues there are obviously you guys supporting local bands and, and just bands that are up and coming is a huge part of that and it's something that we resonates with us every time we play denver like you know we're not playing a mission ballroom in, in every single city in this in this country and it's because of how supportive you guys have been so thanks for True. that well you make it real easy no we problem. are very big fans <laughs> So cannot wait to see your set at Thank Channel 93.3's Kegs and Eggs at night. At it's night. Kegs 24 with Mr. Wives. Thank you guys. After so hours. Much. Thanks for Thank having us. Thank you so much. Thank you.